Hi everyone, it's Kate from The Forward Line. I am back this week with the Sew Down. Um, this is our monthly roundup of stuff we've seen, sewn, listened to, read, lots of different things in and around the world of sewing that we thought you guys might find interesting. I um, hope everyone is doing okay. We are in probably the weirdest <laughs> thing that's ever happened to me in my life. Um, I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're feeling all right. I know it's our lives have changed so much in the last couple of weeks and I'm sure wherever you are in the world you're experiencing a massive change so yeah I hope you're right it's it's been nuts um just a little update um the our online shop is still sending out pdf patterns so if you wanted a pdf pattern you can get those unfortunately the warehouse is closed probably I'm hoping only for a couple of weeks um Sent, so paper patterns and copy shop printing can't go out at the moment but I'm hoping that after two after three weeks of Boris's lockdown we'll be able to open the doors again um yes I also wanted to say a big thank you to everyone who placed an order with us um on the day that we shut the website down it was so nice and we got so many lovely emails and messages on Instagram and I just wanted to really thank you because I, it was a very full-on couple of days and I really, really appreciated all your lovely messages. Rachel and I just kept forwarding each other emails being like, oh, I can't believe someone's written that. So it really meant a lot. So a huge thank you. So I usually start this with a couple of things that I'm going to make um, or some fabrics. And I think at the moment, um, I know as a small business myself, supporting other small businesses is really important to keep you know everything ticking along so if you have got some spare funds and you can support an indie fabric business buying your fabric then go for it so I, what have I got here oh so I'm gonna make a quilt um, I've got a big pile um, of fabrics I'm still deciding on all the sort of color color bandings um, but I got these they're Kona solids and I got them from um, the Eternal Maker and she's got a really good selection of these actually kind of not overwhelmingly huge um, but a nice curated collection and I know that she's actually offering to kind of um, curate bundles for you if you want so I thought that was quite cool. The other fabric I've got um, is from Sew Me Sunshine which I got at Stitch Festival and I haven't shared it with you guys. It is the most beautiful, um, I think it's a tensile rayon and it's got a slight twill and it's lovely green colour which I thought would go well with my hair um, and she's got these in a few other colours they're really really beautiful quality I just want to like rub myself with them and then last but not least um, I think I show told if anyone saw on stories they went down to Merchant and Mills in Rye a few weeks ago which seems feels like six years ago and I got this absolutely beautiful gingham um, it's a linen I thought or a cotton and linen blend maybe it's cotton feels like a cotton linen blend or maybe it's linen I can't remember but it's beautiful so I'm still deciding on patterns but um any suggestions I got like a meter and a half of that and I got a meter and a half of this as well um right so that is um our sort of I guess fabric section I also like to share a couple of new designers or not or not new a couple of indie designers that you may not have heard about um spread the independent love um so the first company I've got is uh, forget me not patterns and I'll pop up some pictures of the collection she's only got four patterns so she's um relatively small but these came onto the site quite recently and I thought they were really nice they're kind of really good interesting basics um not basics like wardrobe staples things that you kind of want to make and want to wear um I actually really liked the um Sabrina pencil skirt which comes with different fit options which I think is really clever um quite a lot of places don't offer that um yeah there's sort of four of them and yeah they're really nice I like the the dress with the princess seams as well um but I think they're the sort of patterns that you would how should, how should I say like I saw them I thought they were quite nice but actually they're really good useful ones to have in your life so and ones that you probably make quite a lot so I thought those were really nice um, and yes another indie designer um, I'm also going to say I think this this is going to go on for a really long time this video so hang I, I've got loads to talk about 
Um, next up we have got the, um, we've got Anna Allen. So this is the other pattern indie design I want to talk to you about. Um, I think a lot of you will have seen the cult pair of trousers that is the Persephone pants. Um, she's got one, two, three, four, five, five, six, I think six patterns and she's just released a new one. And they're really interesting, these patterns. I think they are, they've all got this kind of cool little kind of twist to them. Um, the Perse Persephone pants particularly, they don't have a seam at the sides. They are just, so you cut each leg in one pattern piece, which is really interesting. And loads of people have made it and loads of people love it, the fit of them. So they're definitely worth checking out. Um, yeah, so she's got those and yeah, go and have a look. Everything I haven't said, there'll be links down below too. So next up, I've got a couple of like nice little projects. I've got a project that um, I thought you guys might like. It's on the By Hand London blog. Um, she's done these uh, DIY linen napkins and I thought as we are now stuck at home, I don't know about you guys, but I am making more of an effort in the evenings with our dinner. Um, laying the table, making it feel really nice, lighting some candles, actually making dinner a full on kind of proper experience. And I think because we've got so much time, it's quite a nice thing to do. And these are really beautiful. And I thought they'll also be lovely for your house, but they'd be such beautiful gifts to give to someone. So I'll pop a link to that. Um, and yeah, I thought they'd be a really nice, fun little idea. And it wouldn't take you very long. You could do them one afternoon and you're done. Next up, um, if you are looking for some stuff to do, either for you and for children, um, the Stitch Sisters, who have a um, website where they teach online classes, have have got an offer where they've got 50% off all their classes, and also they've got quite a lot of things which are, um, what's the word, um, like, uh, things, classes that they, sorry, my brain is going nuts, classes that they, have that they're offering for free so I think they're quite a lot of children's ones I think this would be a really good kind of afternoon creative thing if you want if you've got a child and you're getting kind of stuck for stuff to do they're definitely worth checking out and their classes are really good so I would highly you know recommend next up um so the great British sewing bee it's definitely imminent, guys. We got a trailer, which I'm going to put a link to, saying that um, with, you know, the trailer saying coming soon. I've checked the radio times for the next few, like, couple of weeks. It's not showing yet, but as soon as we know, um, I will. I think it's going to be in the next couple of weeks for sure. As soon as we know anything, I'll report back. So if you are very excited about Sewing Bee and you're gagging to get going, the other thing that you should have a check out is the Great British Sewing Bee book that goes alongside the series, um, Sewing Sustainable Style. And this has been written by the lovely girls who run Selkie Patterns, which is incredible. Um, they've got, it, the book's got patterns in it. Um, it looks to be really good. I'm just actually about to get a copy of one so I can do a proper review for you if you guys would like it, let me know. because. I know sometimes it's quite nice to see inside the book. Right, a couple of like Instagrammy sort of stuff that's going on. There's definitely lots of hashtags like stay home and sew. So if you're feeling a bit lonely in your sewing at the moment, have a look at that hashtag because you can see what everyone is up to in their isolation sewing. The other really fun thing which I'm excited for is um, Amy, who is um, Almond Rock Sews. Um, is doing a virtual pub quiz on Instagram. I will pop a link to her profile and the post so you can join in, but it's on Sunday at seven o'clock and I think everyone should get involved because it would be really nice for us all to come together. I'm hoping there's going to be lots of sewing related questions. Um, yeah, it should be really fun. Um, another Instagram thing, not sewing related, which I found really interesting and I thought you guys might like, it's an Instagram account called Humans of NY, um, which is Humans of New York, and each day it tells a story about a, a person or a couple or a family who live in New York, and they're really beautifully written and I absolutely love them. They, the At the moment they're... Um, concentrating on isolation, people in isolation and each day is a different person. But the stories are so lovely and um, if you are feeling like you want to read something kind of light-hearted, just go and have a kind of scroll back through and read each one. Um, 
the format I think they were doing before is where they have three pictures of the same person and each day they post a bit of a story and um, yeah they're really nicely done and I've just really enjoyed kind of sitting down and it's nice to hear what other people are doing in other parts of the world so yes right TV because we are also stuck at home um, I'm watching a quite a bit of TV please let's all share what we're watching because I think it's really great because you can find out new stuff and I'm definitely with I think we're going to be at home a lot for the coming months to share what we're watching so I've got three things I'm going to start with a really trashy one and <laughs> this won't be for everyone but I have really enjoyed it I don't know about you but I'm finding I really I mean I'm really liking things that are very light-hearted and kind of silly so the, <laughs> the first one is Love is Blind which is on Netflix the premise of this is that they are couples that meet um, they don't meet face, face to face and they talk to they date each other behind a kind of closed doors and they get married at the end of it it is really trashy it's American but it's really addictive and I've really enjoyed watching it so if you're feeling like you want a bit of a bit of tooty stuff this is I definitely recommend that the next thing I've got which is on the BBC is the split um, if anyone has not seen this there's two series of this it is absolutely fantastic it's a um, the thing I really like about it is it's a mainly woman based cast as well which is winner for me but it's about a family law firm based in London um, is it, yeah, it's really well written, it's got a really great cast, I would highly recommend it. Um, just go and watch both series and I promise you, you will love it. The next thing I've got is The Morning Show, which is really fantastic. It's, it's light-hearted but kind of sucks you in, which is what I need at the moment because I'm finding I can't concentrate huge amounts. Um, so this is... Um, starring um, Jennifer Anderson and Reese Witherspoon who I absolutely both of them I absolutely love and I think that Reese Witherspoon directed it as well um, it's really well done it's really good and I think I really think you'll all enjoy it so it's definitely worth a look I have been watching it on Apple TV but I think you can get it other places as well so what else have we got books um, books I am um, again wanting light-hearted stuff so I've got three books one of which I've mentioned before but I would recommend if you are looking for something to read at the moment so the first one is Grown Ups by Marion Keynes she is the most wonderful writer I love her books um, she's Irish she writes really whimsically and kind of comically about characters her characters are always wonderful and this book I'm halfway through it so I can't I don't want to tell you all about it but it's just a really nice, easy listen. I'm listening to it on Audible. Um, it, yeah, the characters are fab. It's based in Ireland. It's just really, really good. So I would definitely, definitely recommend that one if you're looking for a book to either read or listen to. Next book I've got is one that I spoke about last summer. And I think that if you're feeling claustrophobic at home, this is going to be the book to take you out into the world. So it is called The Sort Path by Raina Wynne. It is based on a couple who become homeless in the UK. It's a true story and they walk the salt path, um, which is a path all around the um, southwest coast of England. And it's beautiful. And the descriptions of the outside world, just uh, what we need at the moment, because I, I've started to reread it and I every night I, I read a few pages and I feel like I've gone for a walk along the cliffs by the sea. So it's... Uh, honestly one of my best one of my favorite books I really really recommend it the third book I have got is called the swan song um, this is written by Kelly Greenberg Jeffcott which is quite a name um, this is based on the story of Truman Capote who was a um, he's a writer but he was also a sort of social kind of I guess butterfly a bit of an it guy um in the is it the 20s Although maybe it's a bit later than that maybe it's later I can't remember it's I'm I've listened to three quarters of it 
um, it's really really good um, it, it's just very interesting hearing he's not from the same social class as the people that he hangs out with and he is talking about them and it's just very interesting if you're interested in people and and how people interact I think you'll really really like this one um, so that is it um, podcasts to be totally honest I haven't really had a chance to listen to many podcasts at the moment or discover anything new so if you've got some recommendations I'd love to hear them um, one there are two episodes of things that I think are really worth listening to um, the Desert Island Disc with Ian Wright is absolutely, is it Ian Wright? I, I think it's Ian Wright. Guys, this is awful. You know when you, <laughs> you know when you, in your head, you, I'm going to get my phone out here. You know in your head when you're like, I know exactly who this, what I'm going to say and then I've just got confused. Am I? Ian Wright, I'm right. Um, Ian Wright is one of the best episodes I've ever listened to. I cried and cried and cried and even I drove down, I was in the car listening to it with my boyfriend and he cried as well and everyone I know who's listened to it has cried. It's so good. Definitely recommend that. The other one is, um, I also have spoken about this, it's um, the How to Fail podcast and she's done a special episode with Mo Gaudat who um, has, he's a really interesting guy, he wrote an algorithm for happiness and they are talking about dealing with anxiety in the coronavirus and feeling alone and it's a very interesting episode and I found it, it's kind of, it, he's very clever and intellectual but he kind of says it on quite a sort of simple level, well it's not simple level, he just, he makes what he's saying kind of sound, I, I feel like I'm not saying anything properly. Go and have a listen, you won't regret it. So, that is it from me. Um, please share what you've been listening to, reading, sewing. Let's all have a chat down below because let's be honest, um, time is on our side, definitely at the moment. And um, yeah, let's keep talking because that's really important. We don't want to feel, we may be isolate, forced to isolate, but let's be virtually chatty. Um, I will be back soon with another video and yeah, have a lovely weekend. Bye.